To the near side looking for Bennett. Bennett. He's got him. And it is complete. Yes. 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 To the near side looking for Bennett. Bennett. He's got him. Lewis Cass High School as we get ready to tip tonight's contest between the Lady Kings and the Rochester Lady Zebras. Let's take a quick look at the starting lineups. First for Lewis Cass, they'll open up with a guard number 10, Savannah Thompson. She's a 5'5 junior. Bailey Grimmelsbacher is a 5'6 senior, also at a guard spot. The third guard is Ashley McLean, a 5'2 senior. Thirds are Alexa... Hummerhouse, a 5'5 senior, and Olivia Collins, a 5'10 junior. Balls tipped. We'll get to the Zebra starting lineup here in just a bit. But tip controlled by Lewis Cass. And that ball found the way, stolen by Morgan Ruff. She's on a breakaway, goes up strong with the left hand, and count. A quick strike for the Zebras. One of the keys to the game we mentioned was let your defense create some offense. And right there out of the gate, uh, they're off to a good start. And that time Morgan, uh, a little too close, guarding Savannah Thompson, her first foul of the contest. And then I get a chance to take a look at the Zebras starting lineup. Morgan Ruff, as we mentioned, 5'5 uh, five, five guard and a sophomore. Uh, the other guards are Alexa Holland, 5'3 senior. Becky Malko, a 5'5 senior, and Allie Larkin, a 5'6 senior. The lone forward is Keaton Stasiak, a 5'5 senior, and three-point shot around the rim, no good. That's tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Lewis Cass. So X will get ready to trigger it in on the baseline for the Z's. She's getting set into Allie Larkin. A nice interior feed to Stasiak. She turns and scores Rochester out to a quick 4-0 lead. Thompson for Lewis Cass. Brings it across the half-court stride. Dribbles between the circuit to the near side. Hands it off to McLean. McLean goes all the way around and drives in and lays it up. So a good, strong, quick move by Ashton McLean that gets Lewis Cass on the board. Holland. She's high outside, left side, goes in the corner to Marco. She gets it down the block to Ruff, and she's fouled. Non-shooting foul. Foul's going to be on number 21, Ashton McLean, and that's her first, team's first. Holland triggers it in to Ruff. Near side on top to Marco, swings it around to X. Looks for a shot, not there. Back in the corner to Larkin. Shields up the three ball, goes in the corner pocket. And a little extra bonus that she has fouled in the act. Number 15, Alexa Hummerkaus has the foul. We count three of the books for Larkin. And that's a real good sign. Allie averaging just over three points early in the season, and she's on the board quickly, exceeding that with four quick points. Rochester on top, 8-2 to two early in the contest. Here's a steal by Ruff, her second of the contest. She's taken out one, two on three, forces it up. Oh, they're going to wave it off and call for an offensive foul. More importantly, that is two quick fouls by Morgan Ruff. So Coach Stasiak goes to his bench and checking in is another sophomore, a 6-2 uh, center, Kennedy Musselman. Kennedy will play big minutes. She's going to start um, down in the block guarding um, Hummerkaus. But I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see her on Collins. Collins comes out as she drains a three. And that's a big part of this Lewis Cass offense is the shots beyond the arc. Malco penetration kicks out to Holland. Holland drives, stumbles the ball, loses it. Loose ball picked up by Thomas. She's looking to run. Pass ahead to Grimmelsbacher. Shot on the wing, short, no good by McLean. Rebound to Stasiak, and she's going to push it. Off to Holland. Back on top. Swings around to Malco, in the corner to Larkin. 
decided not to take the shot. Now we'll swing it around. Holland, three ball corner pocket, no good. Offensive rebound by Stasiak. She kicks it out to Holland. Back to Larkin. Try it. Sky it. That one's off the mark. Offensive rebound by Musselman. And Marco tried it. Post feed. Kicked out of bounds. Last touch by McLean. 5.13 remaining. First quarter of action. Early 8 5 lead for Rochester. Holland uh, triggers it in underneath. Shot up no good by Stasiak, but a foul called on number 15, Alexa Hummerkaus, and that is her second personal foul. Third on the team. Holland uh, triggered it in yet again. Lob in to muscle in and. Couldn't quite get a bounce, and she's going to, no, I thought she was going to be called for a travel. Yes. Yes. It's going to be off Savannah Thompson. That's her first personal team fourth. And they're going to say Marcelo is also in the act of shooting, so she'll move the line. And she'll have two shots. <laughs> Musselman on the season. Averaging nine points. First foul shot is good. Kennedy shooting 75% on the early season. First one, next one's a little short. Off at the rebound by Stasiak. She tried to hit a cutting at Holland, but uh, loose ball out of bounds. Turned over, back to Lewis Cass. Token pressure applied by Holland. McLean's going to bring it across the line. She's going to drive it forward. Cut off there by Holland. Trying to feed it in. Knocked the way by Larkin. Rochester on the run. Holland pushes it. Tries to force it into Marco. That ball is taken away. And back to the Kings. Grimace Bunker. Now handling ball near side. Swings it back to McLean. Oh, they get it inside easily to McLean as she won't miss the shot. Larkin with the rebound. Rochester back on the attack. Interior feed to Stasiak. Ball fake. No good shot. Knocked away by Collins. And here comes the Kings. Thompson hands it off to McLean. McLean now back between the circles. Interior feed to Collins. And that ball is tied up by Musselman. And it will be Rochester ball on the alternating possession. 13 to go, first quarter of play, Rochester up, 9-4 in this contest. Here's Malco, kicks it off high on the right side to Holland, down in the corner, back on top, Holland around to Malco, into the corner to Larkin. Larkin cross court, skip pass, three on the way from Holland, that's off the mark, no good. And a loose ball rebound throughout by Hewitt House. Lewis Cass got rocked up this time. As we call out the play, try to run the offense. Larkin drawing the assignment on a much larger Collins. And we've only go three so far in this contest. Collins behind the back dribble, kicks it out. Three on the way from the corner. That's no good, and Malco grabs the rebound. Malco ready to run. That's the nice thing about these Zebras. Almost anybody on the court can grab it and push it. Larkin, 4-3 on the way back short. Loose ball tipped around, and Hewerkhaus grabs another rebound. Lewis Cass content to walk it up and run a half-court set offense. Comes Bonker off again here to McLean. McLean draws top of the key, tries to look for a shot for Collins. That was partially blocked by Larkin, and unfortunately, Kennedy Musselman couldn't quite grab it before it hit the end line. Substitution for Rochester. Checking in is Maddie Shively. Maddie, a 5'5 sophomore. And she'll check in for Keaton Stasiak. Shively's given the Zebras very good minutes in the last few contests. There's a missed shot by Collins, a rebound by Musselman. And here's X looking to push. Great job of transition defense getting back for Lewis Cass. Not those three players, no good. And Collins grabs the board for the Kings. Shooting a little bit cold here for both sides as we start the contest. Grandma Spocker, high far side. 
gives it off here to McLean. She drives, tries to push it inside to Hewark House, and I think we're going to get a push in the back on Kennedy Musselman. Kennedy's first personal, team's third. Inbounds to Collins, on top to McLean. She looks down low, nothing good. New York House tries to feed underneath, knocked away by Shively. Great job of defense so far by the Zebras in the half court. High left side to Malco. She's going to survey the situation, being very patient here. Minute 55 to go in the quarter. Malco. Holding it. Nobody's coming out to put pressure on her. She's going to be very patient here. Z's content to watch the clock right now. She'll kick it across. High right side to Luck and right back to Malco. Minute and a half and counting. Holland. Back to Malco once again. Just daring, her, just daring the Kings to come out and guard and put a little push on it. Right now, packed into a 3-2 zone. That's Shiley that's going to come up at the foul line along with Nelson. You got Larkin getting set to run the baseline with Howard and Malco out high on top. Malco and Howard just going to play catch out there. Rochester may wind it all the way down and play for the last shot of the quarter. And now 40 seconds of counting. 9 5 zeros. Malco and Holland just look to stand there, play catch occasionally, and let that clock tip. Now we start going a little bit of motion on the offensive end as we go into 20 seconds. 15 seconds. About time for Malco to call out a play. Here we go. Becky on top to X. She'll look to drive right side. She's cut off. Five seconds on top to Malco. Back to X. She'll let it fly. And a horn and count it. That's the way to be cold blooded. Run down the clock a good two minutes and then throw a dagger. Rochester finishes the quarter with a 12-5 lead. We'll be back in a minute. You're watching Rochester Lady Zebra Basketball on RTC Channel 4. High School, where tonight's broadcast of Rochester Lady Zebra Basketball is brought to you by RTC Technology Solutions. Let your technology work for you. Call RTC Technology Solutions at 223-2191 for all of your business and residential networking needs. Strong first quarter for Rochester as they jump out to a 12-5 lead on the alternating possession. Lewis Cass will toss it in and we'll get underway. McLean dribbles the ball between the rings. And the ball stood on by Malco. Lazy pass. Layup up. No good. Tipped around. Malco gets her own offensive board. And as she tries to skip it across to Holland, that ball is knocked out of bounds by Grimmel Stocker. The disease will retain possession. Larkin, she'll trigger it into Malco. Bring it across the half court stripe. Out to Holland, backs around, over the top. Malco at the top of the key, looks to drive, kicks out to Larkin, now back around to Holland. High right side in the corner to Malco, she let the three ball fly out of the corner, that's no good. Loose ball tipped around, 
And it'll stay right there. Rochester with the ball. Holland, the trigger man. And the Larkin. Pass on top to Hocko. I thought she got shoved in the back. No call. And a great job of hustling back and blocking the shot. Hocko, a great hustle play to start the shot away from McLean. Rochester does average a little over two blocks per game. There's an offensive rebound. Shot no good by Hewerkhaus. Rebound collected by Musselman. Zebra's looking to push it. Try to kick it inside to Shively, but uh, Grandma Spocker did a great job of recovering and knocking the ball out of bounds. Keaton Stasiak up off the bench, getting ready to come back in. Didn't quite get in. And she'll, uh, she'll check it out on the next day as well. Allie Larkin will come out and take a break. Holland to trigger it in once again underneath her own basket. Looking, looking, needs some help. There's Malco back on top now. Stasiak kicks it in the corner. Malco for three. That's no good. And rebound away to McLean of the Kings. McLean getting guarded closer by Holland. She crosses it over, tries to plant tree. Not much trim there. Goes all the way around the baseline and back on top. McLean, left wing. Tries to feed it down inside. The Zebras are suffocating that interior zone. Holland, a nice crossover. Yes, he the last There's two points. Holland with five points to lead all scorers early in this contest. Rochester leading by nine points. 15 to five, 6.15 to go. Second quarter. Into a feed. Hewer cast off her hands, no good. She saves it back to her. Not going to look at a three there. Back on top, McLean. McLean trying to find something into her. There's Hewer cast. I thought Hustleman might have got a finger at some point. Alexa Hewer cast gets two points and scores for Lewis Cass. A bucket they much needed. He is now in the half court set. Not much movement. Now we're going to swing it across to Malco. Now we begin to go and swing it into action. Interior feed, trying to get it into Musselman. Kick ball. That'll be out of bounds to Rochester. Rochester averaging 55 points a contest on the year, 29 rebounds. And there's Musselman who just took the interior pass, just got great positioning. And Muscle got one right in through the basket. So she'll have one shot to try to complete the conditional three-point play. And for Lewis Cass, that is the third personal foul on Alexa Hewerkhaus. Checking in for her, I'm assuming is a sister, sophomore Ombra Hewerkhaus. Musselman's free throw around the rim, no good. Near steal by Marco, tries to throw it back in, bounds. It's not there, but that was a tremendous effort. Great defensive anticipation. Lewis Cass with the ball. They'll walk it across one more time. That's McLean with the ball. Being harassed by Holland. She shakes her loose for a second. Cut off by Musselman as she tried to enter the lane. And now we're back on top here at Thompson. Thompson trying to drive her inside. We'll pull up with her jumper. That's no good. Around the rim. Rebound. Goes to Colonel Stalker, and we've got a tight ball on the court. Keep Stacy out the way the thing she does bust. There's a loose ball. She does not mind the floor burns. So, ball back in possession of the Zebras. The clock ticking under five minutes to go in the half. 16 to 7, Rochester on top. Oh, there's a pass stored away, and knock over with a quick foul. There's a pass I think X would love to have back. Just, I don't know if she saw the defender in the periphery. And X will come out and take a seat, a little bit of a breather, as Allie Larkin checks back in. Here's McLean. On top, survey of the situation. Tries to get the ball to Collins. And Stasiak on the floor one more time. Loose ball out of bounds. It'll stay right here. 
Little Sponker ready to trigger it in for the King. She does so on top to Thompson. Thompson looking, gets the screen on top by Hewerkhaus. And a nice give and go. That's a power of Hewerkhaus. Two points. And Lewis Cass cuts into that deficit. Nice job by Stasia. Gets it in to Shiloh. Her shot no good. Rebound ripped away by Collins. Holland getting ready to check back in for Rochester. Three-point shot off the mark, no good. Loose ball rebound corralled by Keaton Stasiak. And another steal backs away for Lewis Cass. So we got a foul. That's going to be on Stasiak. Her first. And the team's fifth. Thompson at the line. She's got two shots here. First one good. Holland checks back into the Rochester lineup. Shiver coming out. Thompson, one more foul shot up on the way. Drains it. And 16 to 11, Rochester in the lead. Token pressure, but given to Malco, off to Holland. Top of the key, off to the wing. Malco fumbles the pass, and that one's taken away by McLean. And McLean slips, falls, but gets the ball out of her hands to Thompson just in time. Thompson, McLean, I'm sorry, drives the baseline, shot no good, second shot on the way. Blocked by Larkin, Marco, going the other direction as she lays it in. Puts a hit, puts Marco off the defensive rebound. And another score, that's Marco's first two tonight. Grimace Parker. High ball. There's Collins, her three-point shot now again. Kelly Russellman snares away the rebound. Musselman with five rebounds a game. Second leading rebounder on the team behind Keaton Stasiak, who's at 5.3. On top, Larkin down in the corner to X. Back on top to Larkin. She'll dribble right side. Up high now, right side to Malco. Malco looking underneath, nothing there. Larkin thought about pulling the trigger on a three. She'll give it to Holland. She'll look to drop. Pulls up. Shot no good, offensive rebound, Malco no good, offensive rebound, Musselman no good, offensive rebound, Musselman again, she kicks it back out to Holland, she'll spring up a three, that's no good. Multiple, multiple opportunities for Rochester, couldn't quite finish it. Lady Kings with the ball, that's McLean, looking to drive, gives it off here to Grimmel Sparker, she about lost it. And back to McLean again. Screen on, high set by Thompson. Drive on Musselman. That's in and out. No good. And Stasiak with the rebound. Here comes Malco. Back. Minute 50 and counting. First half. Larkin. Skip pass. In the corner to Malco. Tries to feed it underneath to Musselman. Loose ball. And we're going to see Kennedy Seals on the line out of bounds. All the way back to his pass. Morgan Wolf will check back into the line for Rochester. She'll replace Keaton Stasiak and keep an eye on Ruff. She picked up two early fouls in the contest. Hopefully she can stay clean here for the last minute 37. Cass dribbles around on the top. They're content to stay up high. Been trying to look to feed the ball down low several times tonight. Rochester's done a great job of interior defense. Here is an offensive drive. Hewer Cass was over. This the first shot. The Musselman fell down, got her own rebound. And Andre Hewer Cass has done a nice job coming off the bench to score four points. Give Lewis Cass a little bit of a shot in the arm here. Coming down to a minute, play for South, and Rochester might just hold the ball and play for one shot. The same as they did to close out the first quarter of play. Left now, on top, left side. Z's very good with the off 
seconds, 45 seconds, and counting the half. The ref just got to be patient. She's got to go ahead and dribble across court and stay out high near that half court stripe. Cavs just going to sell it in. Awesome, and now we'll go down on the block. 20 seconds and counting. Probably get something going around. 12 seconds would be my would be my guess. Off the mark, though. Here we are, 12 seconds, so we go in motion. Holland. Nope, off to Larkin. and she goes back to the left. Out to Marco. She'll let it fly from about 17, no good. Offensive rebound. Grabbed by Lewis Castle. Let it fly. Half court shot, no good. And a fairly low scoring in the first half of play. So number one to rank two. Rochester Ladies Eagles ahead of Lewis Cass by a score of 18 13. We'll take a little bit of a break and come back and give you some halftime statistics. You're watching Lady Zebra Basketball right here on RTC TV 4. And welcome back to Lewis Cass High School where at the half it's the Rochester Lady Zebras 18, the Lewis Cass Lady Kings 13 and a low scoring affair. Bit of a surprise as Rochester is averaging 55 points per game on the young season. Uh, good defensive struggle, but a lot of missed opportunities as well. I want to take this opportunity to mention that uh, tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by First Federal Savings Bank, your local mortgage lender, offering great rates on mortgages, CDs, and savings accounts. You can visit them online at www.firstfederalbanking.com. And also brought to you by Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, offering great deals and selection on new and pre-owned vehicles right here in Rochester. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick, where you will drive away happy. Let's take a look at the first half scoring for tonight's contest. First, for Lewis Cass. They were led by Abra Kuarkhaus, and she came off the bench in the second quarter to provide two big buckets and finish with four points. Olivia Collins finished with a lone three-pointer of the first half for Lewis Cass. She had three points. And then Ashton McLean, Alexa Hubert and Savannah Thompson all with two points apiece. For your ladies' evenings, Alexa Holland had a three-pointer in the first quarter, added a two-point bucket in the second quarter, and she leads the way with five points in the first half. Allie Larkin had a four-point play very early on in the contest. She finished with four points and a half. Kennedy Musselman with three points. And then Keaton Stasiak, Becky Malko, and Morgan Ruff all chipping in with two points apiece. Again, the halftime score, Rochester 18, Lewis Cass 13. Once again, I might want to recap the Junior Varsity Contest as uh, Rochester was defeated by Lewis Cass, 26-15 in that contest. Uh, leading scorers for Rochester were Carly Beeler with 5 points, uh, 3 points for Corina Peterson, Elena Richard, Allie Harsh, Courtney Gast, all adding 2 points apiece, and Catherine Hughes chipping in with 1 point. We're getting stats uh, for the second half here. It'll be Rochester basketball to start. And I believe they're coming out with the same starting five. Alexa Holland, Becky Malco, Allie Larkin, and Morgan Ruff at three, or actually four guards. Keaton Stasiak, the lone forward. A very veteran club. Four seniors and a sophomore. And Lewis Cass also coming out with their same starters. Savannah Thompson, Bailey Grimmelsbacher, Ashton McLean, all at guards. And uh, Alexa Hewerkhaus and Olivia Collins at their forwards. Here's a shot knocked away, blocked by Collins as Holland tried to drive to the basket. And here comes Lewis Cass. On top, McLean down in the corner to Thompson. Thompson will dribble back on top. Gets it down to Collins. Zebras have done a great job defending her so far. She's the big gun coming in. And the pass knocked away and stolen by Malco. Malco on top. 
a steal we have actually gone through. Two steals in a contest, or two steals a game is what she averages. Rochester is a team, 11 and a half steals per contest. So defense is a huge key to her success. Holland in the corner. Passes up the shot, back up to the wing, and on top again to Malco. Becky picks up her dribble, looking for some help. Skips it across to Larkin. Now to X, left wing. Left in there. She'll dribble and back on top between the rings to Larkin. And Malco now tries to get it inside to Steezy with an excellent job. And keeps Steezy for the assist. Moving on for the beneficiary where she lays it in. Four points that contest down for Ruff. Here's Collins, three-pointer. Far side, no good. Loose ball, rebound, chase down by Ruff, and the Zebras back on the attack. Morgan will slow it up. Malco in the corner. Holland back on top, back into the corner. Holland, who shots long? And rebound, stand away by McLean. Long lead pass to Thompson. Should be at the three. the contest to Lewis Cass. Thompson now with five points. And it's just a four-point lead for Rochester. Holland baseline kicks it inside to Stasiak. Back in the corner. Holland, she'll take it. That's off the mark, no good. One shot and out for Rochester. McLean Thompson, she went a long three goes on off the mark. Loose ball rebound to get chased down. And it'll go out of bounds. Zeta Rock. Malco to bring it up with no pressure. Cast content to side back and make Rochester execute in a half court set. And one of the keys we had was that Rochester wanted to create offense with their defense. They've been limited in those opportunities so far. Marcus three point shot, no good. Once again, one shot now. This cast is back on the attack. Grandma Sponker, she'll drill around. Left wing, just out top, near steal by Holland. McLean will pull into the paint. First shot up, no good. And Larkin snares the rebound for Rochester. Long lead pass underneath the squeeze yet, and she is hammered. Amory Kira Kaus picks up her first personal. That's the first team foul here in the second half. So Keaton Stasiak is over the line. Keaton averaging six points a contest. And at the line this year, Stasiak 65%, and she'll improve on that a little bit as she knocks down the first one. Kelly Musselman back into the Zebra lineup. Second foul shot on the way around the rim and good. So Stasiak knocks down a pair and Rochester's lead back up to six. Holland came out of the lineup as Musselman checked in just a minute ago. McLean on the drive and I think we're going to have a check foul. But Stasiak's second personal, team's first. <laughs> So Lewis Cass will trigger it in McLean underneath her own basket. She'll go on top. It's Grimmel Sparker, gives it back to McLean. McLean now back on top of the key with the ball. She kept her dribble alive, looking, looking. She'll just pull up, try to do that three, and that's no good. Rebound, start away by Larkin. Rochester on the attack. Swings it around, here's Ruff. Looked inside, nothing good, back on top to Larkin. Malco, patient. Left side, left, she'll whip the penetrate. She does so, kicks it out. Malco, open three, on the way. That one's a little long, no good. Loose ball, chase around. But she went into the bleachers hard. I hope she should be okay. She's uh, making her fist, and uh, I think she's fine. She's walking away with a smile, so I think all is good. Loose call out of bounds, we'll go to Loose Cass. 4 2 to play, third quarter to play. Rochester on top, 22 to 16. 
Rochester is our score goes cast. 4 to 3 so far here in the third quarter of play. Low scoring of four this far. Here's still by Malco. College really is struggling to get the offense going here. Great defensive effort by Rochester. And his job is he drew a double team and Shirley uh, Cass left that shot short. Cass got with the line on that side. And here's a Neil Steele with a foul. A little too close to the guard. It is Thompson to pick up the personal. Her second team foul to have. Thompson will pick up the foul on Mark. Ruff will turn it into the backcourt to Malco. Ruff, Malco, Larkin, Stasiak, and Musselman. And they line up a great penetration move on the interior. Up and off the glass and good for David Malco. Malco now with four points in the contest. Interior pass to Kyle. She tries to throw up a runner. And it says she's going to draw a foul. I believe that's on Malco, but the official will come to the near side and let us know for certain. That is Malco's second personal foul. It was in the act of shooting. So Olivia Collins will go to the line. Her first trip there tonight. First one on the way is good. Collins, a 5'10 junior. Nothing but net on the second one. And Rochester's lead is cut to six. Malco, we both lock in baseline, forces up, uh, jumps off for the baseline, and she is acting the act. Savannah Thompson will pick up her third personal foul. So, Lewis Cass now with two players with three fouls apiece, a little bit of foul trouble is Thompson and Alexa Hewerkhaus in three apiece. Malco knocks down her first foul shot. for the timeouts, 2.57 in the third period. We'll take this opportunity to let you know that tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RTC Technology Solutions. Let your technology work for you. Call RTC Technology Solutions at 223-2191 for all of your business and residential networking needs. Once we resume play, Allie Larkin will be at the line. She has one more shot. Larkin on the season is averaging just a little over three points a contest. Uh, good night for her as uh, so far she has uh, five points looking for point number six here in just a moment. Leading scores so far in the contest for Rochester. Um, Larkin and Holland both have five. Stasiak has four, as does Malco. Three points also for Kennedy Musselman. So we have a timeout. Both teams will line it up. Holland back into the lineup. She'll replace Stasiak. And Larkin lines it up. That bounces around the rim and gets the kind of roll. So Rochester back on top by eight. 26-18, 2.54 to go, third period. Collins with it, right wing, back on top to McLean. McLean looks to penetrate, nothing doing there. X cut it off, tops it down between the rings. Back up high Collins, she'll look to drive. On top, Grimmel Spocker shot around the window, there, good and working with another rebound. I'm just one guy, I can't keep all the stats, but it seems like Larkin's gotten her fair share of boards tonight. Holland, into your pass to Mosselet. Kicks it back out, goes around, pass to Larkin. The second trifecta of the night. She has eight points, and Rochester has opened it up a little bit. First double digit lead here of 11. Cass kind of fumbles the ball around a little bit. McLean now corrals it. She goes in, pull up shot by Collins, is short at the foul line. Loose ball, knocked out of bounds, and last touch by Lewis Cass. <laughs> K 
Castle sag back into that half court defense. Malco will walk it across the timeline. High right side looking for the interior. Not much there. Back on top to Larkin. Finds X on top of the key. Interior pass to Hustle as she goes up strong. Nice job with the patient working around the interior. And uh, ball reversal found a slow rotation of Muscle that open on the block. Kelly did a great job of receiving the ball and going up strong quickly. 13 point advantage for Rochester. Collins being a little lost by Shiver, he's in the lineup now. Collins a pull, that's no good, loose ball. Little whistle. And I think we get the final Shiver battling for the rebound, but she gets up a lot of height there. Shiver 5 5, Collins 5 10. Maddie's first personal foul. Team's third of a half. And that's a loose ball foul. Castle with the trigger in underneath your own bucket. And he's got a foul count. Clean couldn't find anybody open. Keaton Stasiak up off the bench as he's going to run up to the back end for Coach Stasiak. Also, the next shoulder will come out. Good minutes from both of them. Clock ticking down with a minute seven to go to the third period. Malco penetrates, cut off, back on top, now to Larkin. Malco, high left side, between the rings now to Holland. Zebras once again looking very patient to milk the clock and they just wait for the last shot of the quarter here once again. First two quarters of this contest, they've been very, very content to let the clock melt down. Holland threw a dagger at the end of the first quarter as she hit a three ball from the side pocket at the buzzer. Holland's just got to stand there very patiently with the ball. She'll under hand it over to Malco. 15 seconds, and so we're going to get going here in just about now. Holland runs the baseline. Looks like a couple of screens. Larkin, nothing there. Cross court skip past Malco. Her three ball running no good. Loose ball rebound. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Rochester with 2.1 seconds remaining. Great job by Ruff. She laid out, tried to keep that ball in play, but just couldn't quite corral it. McLean. She want to go from half court, shot on the way, that's no good. And at the end of three, the number one ranked team in class 2 is 31. The Lewis Castle Kings at 18. to Lewis Cass High School for tonight's broadcast by RTC TV Channel 4 of Rochester Lady Zebra Basketball. One more quarter to go in this contest. Rochester outscoring Lewis Cass 13 to 5 there in that third quarter of play. And everybody chipping in. Holland hit a three. Stasiak with a couple of foul shots. Larkin with a couple of foul shots. And two-point buckets each from Malco, Ruff, and Musselman in that quarter. So you love to see the balanced scoring uh, that we have here. It's very, very tough for any opponent to key in on any one individual. Cast will trigger it in. They have possession to start this fourth quarter. McLean with the ball. It's Grimmel Spocker with it. Right side, Collins way up high. Takes one dribble, tries to feed it in to Abel Humerkhaus. On top to McLean. Looking, looking, nothing in there. And we'll go back on top to Thompson. McLean. Drives, tries to dish it off. Shot blocked by Musselman. Loose ball. 
Last touch by Kennedy. Great job of recovery as Hewerkhaus tried to turn and score quickly, but uh, Kennedy was able to wipe it away. <laughs> Lewis gas to trigger it in. They do so. Up top, McLean will still dribble to the top of the key. Collins, little curl, she go to the top and score away by X. X on the break, lays it up. No good, and I think we're going to get Stacey over the back. That is the case, and that's going to be Keaton's third personal foul. Team's fourth. Yeah, substitution Stasiak will come out as Morgan Ruff checks back in. Ruff a 5'5 sophomore. That's four points in tonight's contest. Ruff picked up two early fouls in the first quarter, but nothing since then. McLean, humor accounts. Back to McLean. Looking, looking. Not much going on down in the paint. Trying to force it in and knock the way by us. And here comes Malcolm on the run. Didn't have a numbers. She said to back it out and here we will go. Z's content to run a little clock and run the half court offense. 644 to go in the ball game. 31-18 zebra advantage. Rough on top. Gets it in the middle to Holland, kicks it back here, right side. Way out on top by Malco. Looks to Patrick, moves back on top here. Rough for the ball. Dribbles picked up closely. We're at the point in the game where Lewis Cass cannot afford to sag back. They're going to have to come out and attack as Rochester tries to burn clock. Malco on top to Ruff. Ruff here near side. Zebra's being very, very patient and deliberate in their half court set right now. Morgan's got to hold it. Nobody's coming out. Larkin now way on top. Huge advantage with the lead as Rochester wants four guards out there. Could run five guards if they wanted to. Very good ball handlers and the ability to hold it. There's a pass. The possible shot is blocked away, but not for the to pick up the least goal rebound. We're only five and a half minutes to go here. And that pass nearly scored away. Good hustle to on the claim, but it's going to stay right here with Rochester. Pressure now is extended by Lewis Cass. Malco on the dribble, she'll pull up top of the key. Look for Holland. Shakes her defender. Larkin now back on top to Malco. She'll dribble to this wing. Tries to lob it inside the muscle. Ooh, I thought that was last touch by McLean, but the official thinks otherwise. She said that ball was last touch by muscle, and that's going to be a turnover for the Ladies Eaters. Pressure against McLean as she brings it across the timeline. Thompson. Crossover dribble. Dribble spunker now. Oh, McLean, I'm sorry. Loose ball picked up by Holland. Off to Ross. She tries to go off to the races. And I think we got a loose ball foul on Thompson. Nope. Uh, that's going to be on Rochester. So as both girls are going for a loose ball, it's going to be rough. It's going to be home, but that's going to be her third personal. So we'll have to check out as Keith Stasiak back in the lineup. Four seniors and a sophomore on the court right now for Rochester. Thompson with the ball on top. Lewis Cass looking to come into a 13 point deficit as we're approaching. Four and a half minutes to go. Three pointer all the way short by McLean, and Rochester comes up with a loose ball rebound. And they'll pull it out and run a little more clock. Malco drives, pulls up at the foul line. Loose ball knocked around. Stacy and corrals it. Malco it out. Back on top, picks up a good one. Larkin calls for help. Right back to Malco. 
Becky. Driving it, she's going to be bumped by Amber Hamercast. It's going to be Amber's second personal foul. It's his fourth. So we're not shooting yet. Matter of fact, Cass uh, has two more fouls to give. So Malcolm will trigger the end here near side. And she goes through in the backcourt to Holland. Alexa, across the timeline. Hesitation dribbles to draw the back. Ball is blocked by Collins. And Cass runs on the attack. Now we pass here. Cass not quite ready for it. Wrestler, ready for the loose ball. And I believe they're going to call it out of bounds. Last touch by Mosterman. Good hustle push. Good hustle push. Good hustle push. Good hustle push. This ball, everybody's just trying to come out. Russell also checked back into Z's. Kennedy will come out. 341 to go in the contest. There has not been much scoring here in this fourth quarter. Matter of fact, there hasn't been any scoring here in this fourth quarter. McLean will draw the ball, stripped away her pocket, picked by Holland. Holland with three and a half steals per game so far this season. And she shows you quick hands once again. Now Larkin up on the left side. She'll drive, get to Stasiak. And she'll go back on top here to Malco. Malco closely guarded. She'll drive, look to kick. Going out the way by Collins, but picked up again by Rochester. High on top to Larkin. Aubrey Hewenkast has picked her up. Looking to deal, nice spin move with the foul line. She puts it up and she is fouled in the end. That foul is going to be on number 34, Aubrey Hewenkast. Her third personal. And that's going to be the fifth team foul, but it was an act in the shooting. Now we learn from the goal line. And so far tonight, she's a perfect three for three. Make that four for four. So then, uh, seven points in a contest for Larkin so far tonight is that second foul shot spins out. Thompson with the ball. She tries to skip across and rough with a steal. Morgan Ruff also up there with a two point or two steals per contest. And that was just an out by his cross court skip pass. We're under two minutes, two and a half minutes to go here in the ball game. Rochester with a 14 point advantage and looking to burn some more clock. Larkin across to Marco. Back to Larkin. High on the right side. She's closely guarded, puts the ball on the deck, picks up her dribble, and Holland here to rescue. Holland right wing. She'll back it out again. Pops is checking her. And back to Malco. Malco will dribble drive, top of the key, and back on top to Larkin. Ruff out of the center circle right now. Couple of ball things, couple of dribbles, and off to Holland. On the left wing is Holland. Minute 38 and counting. Official starts with a closely guarded. Holland penetrates. Official backs off, and Coach Stasio is going to take a 30 second timeout. We'll just keep it right here for the short timeout break. And I'll take the opportunity to remind you that tonight's contest is brought to you in part by Shepard Chevrolet Buick in Rochester. Offering great deals and selection on new and pre-owned vehicles right here in Rochester. Shepard Chevrolet Buick, where you will drive away happy. And also brought to you by RTC Technology Solutions. Let your technology work for you. Call RTC Technology Solutions at 223-2191 for all of your business and residential networking needs. And your final sponsor tonight is First Federal Savings Bank. Your local mortgage lender offering great rates on mortgages, CDs, and savings accounts. Visit them online at www.firstfederalbanking.com.
We're down to a minute 27 to go in this contest. Rochester on top of Lewis Cass 32-18. Zebras with the basketball and they'll trigger it in. Left corner to Larkin. She'll dribble it right back on top. Closely guarded by Hewlett House. As she penetrates and tries to kick it back out. We've got a whistle on a foul. That's going to be against Savannah Thompson. Thompson's fourth personal team six. So from here on out, the Z's will be in the bonus. Holland triggers it into Larkin, and she dribbles it back on top. Humor counts guards it. Larkin by her. Interior to Stasia. Like I said, thinking about the shot, wisely just dribbles it from the paint right back on top. Keep between the rings. Z's plan keep away. Now Malco, up high in the center circle. Tries to put a move on Thompson, but momentarily skips away. Malco keeps her dribble, closely guarded, official not counting. Pass off to Larkin, and she is bumped. That's going to be Aubrey Hewitt House's personal foul of the Z's are in the bonus. So Larkin will go back to the line. For the sixth time tonight. First one on the way, and that's no good. Collins with a rebound. 43 seconds and counting in the ball game. Lewis Cass gets going to get something going. Not a backcourt as that ball is tipped by Holland. McLean, her driving up, no good. Rebound ripped away by Stasiak. Stasiak leading the team in rebounds this year at 5.3 a ball game. I like to call her the best 5-5 power forward in the state of Indiana. She does things and accomplishes things down on that block that most people uh, much larger than her cannot get done. Eight seconds and counting. It looks like the Kings are going to be content. Let the Zebras run the clock out here as Larkin will hold the ball. And the horn will sound. Let the Zebras come out victorious here and prove the final and on the season. Your final score, Rochester 32, Lewis Cass 18.